Hey, that's the same ball Lyra has. Um, so some have very long spines that are very sharp, others like these guys have shorter spines. So what's the fuzzy stuff on the spine? Uh, that's just algae. That's what I thought it was. Yeah, it's growing on there. And urchins um, are primarily going to be herbivores, so they eat the algae that they find down on the reefs. They're actually really important for coral reef uh, health. Leave a touch. Usually you see the purple ones and you've seen one of those. Yeah. Well the purple ones have more have more spines too. I see the purple and the white ones hurt. Yeah, you probably see the purple ones just out yeah, these all ones the time in the water. When we store plants, we always be careful around the rocks because they're always Oh yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so they eat algae, um, which is important because if there's a bunch of algae, it'll inhibit coral growth. Um, so if they're there, it allows for more coral to be there. Let's see, do I have anybody in this show today? Nope. So there's a hermit crab in here somewhere, hiding in one of these shells. So that's a big hermit crab. Oh, we have some pretty big ones. <laughs> Oh, I think we got a little one in here. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's a little one? Yep. Look. They don't really want to. 
Peter Ernest They're just chilling in their, uh, in their pot there. Um, but when you guys are out later snorkeling, um, our larger sharks are over there under the bridges. There's windows. You can also see them up on the bridges. Uh, we have nurse sharks, white tip and black tip reef sharks. Uh, there's a zebra shark, a spotted wobegong, and two little bonnet heads. They're the smallest species of hammerhead. So they're in there as well as one of our really big stingrays, a big black blotched gray, and a really large Queensland grouper is in there too. And then also out here in the reef, uh, we have a variety of different fish, about 150 or more uh, different species. They do have a variety of diets, but you guys are going to get a chance to feed them. Um, we call it a gel diet. It's kind of like a jello like you mix it up with a powder um, but it's for omnivores so it has 